Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my March favorites. So as you will notice, I have had my hair done again. Much better experience this time. Obviously, this is much more preferable to what I had before, which was that awful brassy brown balayage where it uh, went all the way to my roots, so it wasn't balayage. Um, <laughs> so now I have this sort of ash blondy color with dark roots and I really like the way it turned out so yeah anyway without further ado and rambling let's jump into the video so the first thing is pretty random but I picked this up while I was up in Sydney a little while ago and I've found that I absolutely love this product so it is the Swispers Naturals Cucumber Facial Ref uh, Refreshing Facial Cleansing Wax when I was up in Sydney I was just feeling really sweaty we'd been running around shopping and stuff like that and I was just feeling really yeah, like gross and I saw these in Priceline and I was like, oh, they would be good to just refresh my face, which is exactly what they say they will do. The only con is that you only get five in a packet, but I think they're reasonably cheap. I will link everything I talk about below as always. These are from Priceline and I think they were like three to five dollars. I'm so bad with remembering prices, but I know they weren't expensive. Obviously, we're going into winter now, so I probably won't need them too much, but... I did use them today when I got home from the hairdresser because I was just feeling a little bit hot. You know how when you're under the little coat thing that they put on you, I was just feeling a little bit bleh and a bit hot. So I did use this to refresh my face before I did my makeup to film and it was really nice. So this is just a close up of the product. That is what they look like. Next up, I have a bunch of palettes. The first one is the Below Me Away palette by Colourpop. It looks like this. So it comes in this little sleeve. So that's what the sleeve looks like and then the actual palette just slides out like this. I've already spoken about this on my channel I believe, or maybe I didn't, I can't remember but I may or may not have spoken about this already but these are the shades in the palette. So they just look like this. These shades in this palette are absolutely stunning, they are so neon and so pigmented like they are fantastic, I love this palette. And you can actually make it a little more subtle if you just blend it out heaps and don't use much product. Or if you just use these sorts of shades down here, these two are a little bit more neon and a bit more in your face. But all of them are absolutely beautiful and I do believe you can blend it out really well and make a look that you can go out in. You know, you wouldn't feel too over the top. So yeah, and that one is from the Nectar Collection and retails for I think $18 US. Next thing I've been obsessed with, I got my first ever contour kit and it is the Revlon Sculpt and Highlight Contour Kit. This is the one that was developed in conjunction with Chloe Morello. I love Chloe Morello so I knew I was going to love this palette but not as much as I do. I thought I was going to like it but I really really love it. It's amazing. So this is what it looks like. I didn't realise but my contour shade up here has broken. That's a bit sad. So this one comes with the contour shade, the bronzing shade, the banana powder for under your eyes, and a highlight. The only thing that I don't think is much good in this palette is the highlight. It doesn't really do anything for me, so I don't love it. I don't think I'll really use it that much. It's pretty, it's just way too subtle. Like there's natural highlights and then there's like you can't even see it highlights. And I think this one, you can't really see it. So I'm not a huge fan of the highlighting shade, but all the other shades are beautiful. I mostly stick to the contour and the banana powder because that's what I would use the most. I don't really bronze. I'm pretty pale and I feel like any bronzer just really doesn't suit me. So yeah, but I do really like this as a palette and it only was, I think, $25 at Priceline and it's on sale quite often, I see. So yeah, I think it's, it's worth the money. So I'm just going to break away from the palettes for a little minute because I feel like I don't want to do all the palettes in one because it's a bit, you know, predictable. So the next thing I have is actually a MAC product. It is the Fix Plus in the Coconut and they've brought these out in the minis recently to promote, I think it's like a sports collection or something. I can't quite remember but I think it's like maybe an active thing or something. Anyways, it is this little travel bottle. Just looks like this. At first I couldn't really smell the coconut smell, but it is definitely there. It's just quite subtle, but that's okay because you don't necessarily want something that you're spraying in your face to be too, too scented, especially if it's a very artificial scent. Not that this is, but you know what I'm saying. Sometimes scents can be overpowering, especially if you're spraying it onto your face. So I definitely like this a lot. I think it smells beautiful and I love this little travel size. This is the size that I buy my Fix Plus in anyway, so I was pretty happy to get this. And it retails for $18, I believe. I get sucked in by things like that, especially if it says coconut. Like, 
I'm immediately sucked into anything that says coconut, so yeah, I ended up picking this one up. Next up is a product which might be my favourite of the whole month, even over my eyeshadow palettes, which is saying a lot. And that is the Trilogy Certified Organic Rose Hip Oil. Just apply a drop or two to my entire face before bed and holy crap, it has done the most amazing job on my skin. This product is amazing. So I specifically picked up the Trilogy brand because the other brands they had at Priceline all had other things in the ingredients and I didn't want that. As far as I'm aware, this is 100% just rose hip oil. It comes in this little dropper like this. And you just drop the product out. And it's weird because it is an oil, but it doesn't feel oily. Like it does when you first apply it, of course. But once it soaks into the skin, it's like a dry oil. So I really love it. I just, I'm obsessed with it. It's so nice. This is what the actual bottle looks like. I forgot to show you. And this one I think retailed for like $20. And I can honestly say this will probably replace my moisturizers. Like... I don't even need them when I have this, so I think this is well worth it. It's a small bottle, but a little goes a long way. One to two drops will do your entire face, maybe three if you really want that intense hydration, but I think one to two drops for your face is fine, and definitely I've been putting it under my eye area, and I've noticed a lot of change, so loving it. Now I'll do another palette. So I have been obsessed with all of these, really, but this one in particular in March really just stole my heart. It is the Cover Shot Matte Palette by Smashbox and it has this awesome packaging. These are the shades and as you can see it's pretty much everyone's dream palette. It has great transition shades, it's got great crease shades, it's got pinky shades, purple shades, a black, it's got two highlighting shades and it comes in this adorable little packaging which is super thin and great for traveling. It's tiny, it is the size of less than my hand. As you can see, I love this. I'm obsessed with this. I think it's way better than the Urban Decay uh, Naked Basics palettes because it has sort of, it's got warm and cool tone shades in there. So I just, oh, it's so versatile. I'm obsessed. It's just, yeah. Go and buy it. It's only $41 as well. Next up is my Narcissist palette. And this is the Unfiltered 2 Cheek palette. I spoke about this in a video not very long ago. I have already put this in my favorites list. I love it. This is what it looks like if you haven't seen my video already. And it comes with the highlighting shade Hot Sand, as well as a range of matte and satin blushes. Really beautiful. I thought I wouldn't be able to use this top shade here as a blush because it would be too dark, but I tried it on and it's actually my favorite in the palette, apart from the Hot Sand highlighting shade, which is this one here. So these two are my favorite and the one in the middle. So the bottom row really is my favorite in the palette. I love it. There's not much more I'll say. If you want to know more about it, go watch my video, which I'll put a little card up here for you guys. But yeah, I love this. Definitely a favorite. I never thought I would actually buy a blush palette, but here we are and I have done that. So now I guess I'm a blush person. <laughs> And this palette retails at Mecca for $85. This one's currently in stock online. The deeper one, the unfiltered one, is currently out of stock online, but may be available in stores. So you just need to ring your local store and check if it's available. But I would highly recommend getting it because it's actually great value. I explain all the value stuff in my other video as well, so I won't go into it here. But basically, you're getting a lot of product for your buck. So... It seems like a lot of money when you hear $85, but when you actually look at what you're getting, it's worth it, trust me. And then we have another palette, which again, I've already shown on my channel, so I apologize for that, but all my March faves were sort of in my Sydney haul, I think. Well, not all of them, but quite a few of them were in my Sydney haul, so yeah, that's a bit of an issue, but anyway, that's fine. So this is the NYX Event Pop Palette in the color Nouveau Chic, and it is Stunning. This is what all the shades look like. They're absolutely amazing. You get mattes and shimmers. And I love this because it has a range of colors, but they're very wearable. Like the tones of the colors make them extremely wearable. They're not brights, but they're colors. So I think it's a really great palette. I think it's very wearable, very beautiful. And yeah, I love it. It's only $34.95 as well. So that always helps. And then last but not least, I have the ColourPop Aquarius Gloss. Kathleen Lights asked ColourPop if she would be able to create an Aquarius Gloss because she was thinking about it and said that she thought Aquarius would make a great gloss, which it does. 
and she asked Colourpop if they would do that for her and they were like why don't we release it in a threesome and do an ultra satin and ultra matte and a gloss so that's what they did I did pick up the whole set but the satin and the matte aren't really for me I love the lippy stick and the um lip liner from Aqu of Aquarius and I love the gloss but the other two weren't for me but that's okay so I love the gloss though it's really really beautiful so it just looks like that and this is what it looks like swatched on my hand so it's quite close to what it looks in the tube which is great I was already a lover of the Aquarius lippy stick so of course I love the gloss and glosses are more my thing anyway than mattes just because I have extremely dry lips and I don't really want to emphasize that with a matte lipstick so I think I just need to stop buying matte liquid lipsticks and just accept that they don't really work for me so yeah I have a couple of ultra satins from Colourpop that I really like like Bijou and Panda those two colors are amazing and I love them but apart from that most of the shades I've bought don't really work for me so I feel like I just need to admit that and stop buying them because it's just not working yeah that's everything that I had in my March favorites let me know in the comments below whether you guys liked any of these products this month or whether you've got any recommendations for me to try out for my April favorites and I might put them in my next video who knows so thanks very much for watching if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel as well I have surpassed 100 subscribers now which is really exciting so my goal is to get to a thousand at least by the end of the year so I think I can do that but I need you guys to click that subscribe button and also hit the little bell next to it so you get notified of my new videos. Yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!